Welcome to this week's EMBN show where we're going to be taking a look at the good, the bad and the ugly of the e-bike world. Yes, and of course we've got all the regular EMBN show action. We've got out and about tech of the week. We've got the bike vault. It's all coming up. Let's do it. And for today's show, I'm joined by the great Martin Ashton. <laughs> yes, and I am joined by the legitimately great Chris <laughs> Smith. Um, Chris, this mm -hmm. is a good show this week because we're going to be talking about um, e-bikes are pretty, are pretty now. Mm -hmm. Th they weren't pretty. Now they're actually getting really good looking. Yep. Right? But, <laughs> big but, <laughs> and that's where the show lies, there's still some monstrosities out there. There is. Some the really show. ugly bikes amidst the beauty mm -hmm. that we get to ride these days. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, should we just dive into yeah, it? Yeah, I've had a little bit of a trawl around on yeah. the net and actually found some, as you say, some monstrosities. And I think <laughs> kicking it off, I mean, I'm a big fan of cheap e-bikes. I think they are great for getting you out there, but yeah. you've got to spend that cash super wisely. And examples of this is, I mean, check this out, Mark, this and cheer full suspension bike. Oh, man. Um, yeah, and I said, this is an actual fold-in full suspension bike. Yeah. It's not just a full suspension bike. You can actually fold it up. The pedals fold in, the, fold in, the frame folds in half. And I mean, look at the spec of it. It's got a handlebar bag that mounts a battery on this bike. It's got a lump of rubber as a rear shock, so I think you've got a spring. Uh, cable disc brakes, 26-inch wheels, and it's advertised as having the frame made out of iron. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one thing, right, that springs out, that's a, a dead cert ringer mm. for this bike, it's probably not the one for you, is it's mm. got an adjustable stem. Any bike yeah. with an adjustable stem, mm -hmm. any bike, right, is not in good place. No, no. I think it's, it's, it's crazy. It is. It's, I think some of the you know spec is actually quite dangerous. This bike costs £739, so it's not huge money, but I think you just got to be super it's still careful. Quite a lot. Still yeah. quite a lot. And I, I, I tell you what, I think this is a bike that you see bikes around the town where we are here. There's quite a few people riding around on bikes that look a bit like this. Yeah. A, a bit naff. Mm -hmm. A bit naff. And but like you say, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it an entry point into the wonders of an e-bike and, and how, how great that feels? Yeah, I think that barrier is a th around a thousand pounds, but then you definitely don't want to be touching a full suspension bike. I would stick with a hardtail mm. and you're going to get more quality components on there. It's going to be a safer bike. But as I say, I'm not dissing cheap e-bikes. I'm, I'm a big fan, but just be careful with your cash. But even spending a lot of money isn't going to save you, is it? I mean, check this out, Mark, as well. This thing's crazy mm -hmm. from Motor Perilla. Mm -hmm. um, is that how you say it? Motor yeah. Perilla? Motor I mean, Perilla. I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's got big, it's got big holes in it. Yeah. It's got a battery the size of the moon. It's using <laughs> slick fat bike tires. There's nothing about this bike that's attractive Definitely. to me. And, and it costs 7,000 to 8,000 pounds as well. So there's a lot of cash. So it just shows you that money isn't going to save you at Shut the end up. of the day. I'm not giving you that money for that bike. That's crazy. I guess as a design, um, as a design project, it's probably, yeah. uh, you know, it's probably, they've learned a lot building it. Mm. Definitely very eye-catching and different, but last on my list is this bike from Revo. Now this is super uh, futuristic. What do you think of this one then? Um, I'm not convinced by spokeless mm. wheels. I don't, I just don't see how that's going to work that mm -hmm. well, especially off-road. But I think there's some sort of beauty in that line. It that does line look cool, doesn't it? A sweeping line down through the bike. Mm -hmm. I think there's something, there's, there's a, an attractive look to it, the aesthetics. It definitely but is. Technology-wise, is it actually a real, is it actually a real it thing? It is on pre-order at the minute. It's just in the prototype stage, but as you mentioned, it's got those spokeless wheels on there. It is a rigid bike, so Probably not the best for off-road yeah. use, but um, I'm just liking the software on it as well. It's got fingerprint start, so you can like to get it going. You need your own thumbprint to start, much me, like you do me on and an Louis Apple are iPhone. By that fingerprint start, what are you going <laughs> to want that? No. Um, Road of time tracking, so if it gets stolen, you know where it is all the time, and it's got a cool inbuilt lock as well in those wheels, so you're not going to get any bolt cutters or anything on it. Could be a step forwards, could be a step back, but I think bringing some of that tech into the latest range of e-bikes has got to be a good thing, right? God, oh, stolen. I'd be so lucky. <laughs> Someone take it away. <laughs> anyway, should we check out some news? <laughs> yes, let's do it. 
Okay, to start, we're talking about Muckoff subscription service. Yeah. This looks rad, Chris. Yeah, so this yeah. is really cool. So this is Muckoff are offering all their lubes and cleaners, all the cool stuff that they do on a subscription service where you can get a drop at your house every three months. So you've got all your favorite lubes, cleaners, just arriving on your doorstep, you know, so you're never gonna run out of your favorite lubes or cleaners, and you can obviously subs uh, get out of that subscription as and when you need it, so you don't have to rely, you know, it's not, you locked in, as they say, you can suit it to your needs, but yeah, Very never cool. run out of that kit. Subscription service, mm. love that. Um, next up, another lightweight bike on the market, the Lynx from BH. Yeah, it's looking. Uh, carbon frame. Mm -hmm. Well, we were talking about monstrous bikes, and we're right back to that new aesthetic look of the modern yeah. e-bike. I actually looked at this bike, and it is super hard to actually see that it is even an e-bike. Looking at that picture, I mean, the only giveaway for me on this is actually that bolt above the chain where you can actually see it's mm. got that small motor in that. The motor's given out 65 newton meters of torque. Yeah, so it's got a 540 watt hour internal battery and a 180 watt hour extender. So you can get some big, big range out of this bike. It's got the remote control on the bar that connects to a Garmin head unit, 150 mil travel, 29 inch wheels, and that base build is kicking off at 6,500 euros. So Pretty nice. Another one to add to that lightweight lineup at an attractive price. You know, it's great to see these bikes coming to the market, I think. Lastly, in the news this week, we have got, look at this little clip from Tony mm. Bow showing us this is the multi, 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 world trials champion, uh, motorcycle trials, yeah. riding for Honda, of course, and here he is. Bashing around on his e-bike, making that look easy too. Oh, yeah, on that yeah. full fat Levo going up that wall. Notice the trials boots on this, and he hasn't even got his seat post dropped. So imagine what he could do with some decent footwear and that seat yeah. post. Imagine what he could do if he knew what he was doing. Yeah, if he was yeah. good on a trials bike. <sighs> Do you know what? I've got a story about Tony Bow. Go on. Um, I went to the World Championships once, and he was just a little kid at mm -hmm. the time, um, and there was this little stream section, and even then he had a truck with his, like, a picture of him on it. Really? Yeah, in yeah. his, like, Mega Mo kit. I think it was Mega Mo. It mm -hmm. might be Monty, actually. It was Monty. Uh, doing a little stunt. His dad was, like, mining for him, and he fell off in the stream, and he had a big old cry. Did he? <laughs> 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 yeah, proper shouty cry. <laughs> no, Bob, <Paul> Porter! <laughs> <laughs> like that. Little kid. And we were all like, who's that little <laughs> The greatest trials rider on earth. <laughs> That's who it ended up being. <laughs> So you never know, eh? <laughs> now you tell you what I like to do, Chris, other than ride e-bikes. What's that? Spend money in the EMBN shop. You do? That's literally Buy what one. I like to do. What's your favourite item All this month? All of it. But what I love about mm -hmm. it is it's a great way to support mm -hmm. the channel and help us make videos and <laughs> you get cool stuff out of it. Exactly. It's a win-win. Have you ever had one of those win-wins? Yeah, I have. This is one of them. <laughs> Head over to the NBN shop. We've got some great Christmas bundles. Mm -hmm. There's some really sick stuff in there. So uh, head over to the shop, have a look. There will be something there you like. Um, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. That's a guarantee from me and Chris. <laughs> that's, a, that's a guarantee now. So head over there after the show and buy yourself something nice. Coming up this week on EMBN, we have a great week of content as always. And kicking things off on Friday, we have got the biggest changes to e-bikes in the last 10 years. Steve taking a little bit of an in-depth look at all that going, going on. Absolutely. And then, says here on my list, that mm. Steve's going on a big adventure with Mark Weir. Mm. Out. Something of a legend. Yeah, he's out yeah. there at the minute having a load of fun. I can't wait to see that video. And on Monday, uh, Steve is taking a look at some Italian tech. So taking a look at the latest motors and the bikes <laughs> from Italy. Did he have to go there to check it out? Yeah, of course he did. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> right, in the comments this week, uh, talking about the video, the, the Transformer video. <laughs> Could we turn Neil into an e-biker? Mm. I think we might have done. He's spending right. a lot of time on that thing. <laughs> he is, he is. Um, Kane sent us uh, a comment saying, I've got this Canevo SL, and you don't get the dirty looks you get when you're on an e-bike, a normal standard e-bike. There's no big dopey battery there. It's slick, it's sick, yet stocky at the bottom. It's a performance e-bike. He loves it. He it loves it. It, is. it is definitely is a high-performance e-bike, that. And uh, yeah, it is a very sleek 
and slick looking machine. I've um, got Alex Rodriguez here. He's saying, I wish Robert would make their lightweight versions in their enduro geometry. Ooh, I yeah. don't know why they followed up a lightweight trail e-bike with a second lightweight trail e-bike. So taking you thinking of the Rallon? Yeah, with, uh, yeah, enduro. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. That's actually that's a pretty good, good point. Yeah, there's a couple point, of changes yeah. Robert did make with that bike actually, because he got increased mm. battery size with their latest release. Um, Apart from that, it is fairly similar. So, mm. Rallon could be good, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nomad says the full-powered e-bikes will get this light. Will get this light. It's really just a question of time. <laughs> You could make that argument, but won't that mean that you've got even lighter, lightweight ones? I think so. It'd be battery tech that I think will take us to that next level of lightweightness. If you can yeah, say that, I yeah. I, I, is that something <laughs> we're seeing that the batteries are becoming smaller and more powerful? I heard something about like some just memory card style battery you can plug into it, basically, but they're super expensive and they're way off like production. But apparently that could be on the card. Wow. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I heard. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. I don't think that's right. It is. I've heard about it. There's some weird tech. Like it regens as well. Like it, or it, it's got like a crazy life. Yeah, but surely that would just transform the world, wouldn't it? That would just mean like that would mean free power. Getting out of my depths. There, my brother wrote a story about this. Is the but um, buttered <laughs> buttered cat? The buttered cat. Buttered. Well, because if you throw if you throw a cat, if you throw a cat out of a high story building, they, they land on their feet, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. And if you drop toast, it always goes butter side down, right? So if you butter the back of a cat, it'll just you'll drop it out of a building and it will just spin, oh, and then you just contain the energy of the buttered cat. <laughs> Get it on like a just put it in something because it, yeah. it can't go down. How do you ever think of that? <laughs>
It's cold everywhere this week, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> it's cold everywhere, but it's a beautiful shot. It that is. looks like what a reward. You've done this massive climb on your yeah. e-bike. You're feeling amazing, and you've got that to look at. It looks amazing. Incredible. It? It's got to be a dust, is it dust shot or dawn, what do you think? I'd say that's dawn. Dawn? Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to say. So from the snow, we've got a bit of... Looked like from dawn to Sean. Dawn to Sean, like yeah. it. Yeah, this is Sean Orbea Wild FSM20. He's out in... This is Sierra de Sheda South. In Spain. In Spain. I'm in Spain, sure that's not how you say it. I'm almost certain. <laughs> I'm almost it's got certain. Big day out using two batteries, 3,500 meters of climbing, and 85k of distance travelled. So, yeah, big day out in the mm. hills. A couple of batteries going on. Looks like an epic place to ride the bike, doesn't it? What a little trip around the world we took just yeah, then. We love seeing where you've been riding your e-bike. So don't forget to use that upload service to get featured here on the EMBN show. And the details for that are up on screen. Okay, it's bike vault time to see whether you guys are gonna get a nice or a super nice, loads of strong entries in. And kicking it off, we've got Elliot here. He's got a Norco Site VLT. He's out in Ontario. Uh, first uh, ride on his Bruce, Very on high Bruce saddle. trail. Very high saddle. Yeah, Bruce. super high, isn't Very it? High. Looks like a bit of quarry action going on. Mm. I think that's gotta be a nice it's to nice. kick it off. It's nice. Next up, we have got Chris's Rock Rider in the Peak District. Um, that's another strong nice. It's it another strong nice, like a hardtail. Oh, some town walls going on from Nick. He's got a white E180. He's out in Crick Howell. Uh, change of pace from Kim Khan downhill to exploring God's country. First super nice this week. It's gotta be, I'm loving this super matching nice. game. Yeah, town walls, a bit of log action. I don't love the town walls. You don't. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Che's custom 1500 watt. 1500 watt. That's all it says. Yeah. Um, uh, it's in England, in the UK. It's very descriptive, this one, isn't it? It's got 160 Broad. meters of torque as well. So there must be a home build kit going on on this, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, nice a, looking it's a cool looking bike. It is, isn't it? Not quite all in shot, though, is it? I'm no, not sure the no, it's a nice, front it's a nice, it's a nice. Oh, this is Next up, nice. we've got a tri Now, oh, I'm confused, Chris. I'm confused. Has this shot been shrunk? I don't know, it does look small. What's, something looks, it's it, so it's tiny. It's like first slope style e-mountain bike by the looks of it. But I think it's just an extra small uh, track power fly. So this is one we talked about wow. recently from Shelley. Out on a ride with a hubby. He was on his high bike all mountain three. The weather was glorious and the moor was at its best. Well, that sounds I like a perfect day. I don't know if this is the X trials rider in me bike, but that bike looks sick. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> looks a really good. A little dinky frame. Yeah, with a motor. I love it. It's cool, isn't it? I would be all over slamming the seat on that <laughs> bad boy and doing some trials. That's what Definitely I'd be doing. Super nice, I reckon. Super nice from me. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we've got John's Kona. Um, this is a very dark shot, John. It's very it dark. Yeah, quite it's dark bikes, isn't it? Like a quite uh, dark sort of military. He is green. in Sterling, and it is oh, quite it? dark there. It looks quite cold. It's quite well, dark and it? moody. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nice. It's nice. nice. I feel like that a better shot and that would have been a super Definitely. Nice. Yeah. Well, check this one out. This is Casey's got a Kinevo SL. Uh, he's out in Arcan Arkans Arkansas. 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 I said Arkansas last time. We've got a lot of Mick taking out on me. I think that's justified. Uh, yeah. Hitting some awesome new downhill trails with my five year old shredder on his static bike as well. I thought it was one of those little Revy. Uh, balance, like yeah, e it's very cool. Yeah. What is that thing they're under, Chris? What is that? Some I don't... sort of shout of some sort, isn't it? Or it looks like yeah. the bottom of one of Elon Musk's rockets, uh, isn't it? I think that's got to be a super nice. Uh, I love seeing little kids out riding as well. You know, with the e-bikes, it's good yeah. to see, isn't it? Super nice. Next mm -hmm. up, this is oh, I like this shot a lot. Out in the wood, woods of Wendover, uh, this is Dean's white E150 RS. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a nice looking bike. It, is it more than that? I don't think so. I think it's just a nice. I think it's it? nice, but strong nice. Finishing up this week's bike where we've got uh, bike vault, we've got Stefan here with a high bike S Giro 49 out in Switzerland, enjoying the autumn weather. It's quite like the UK by the looks of that. Loads mm. of leaves everywhere. Nice looking bike that. Um, just like to see a bit more angle on it. I think that's finishing up with a nice as well. A nice. It's a bit of a dull End bell at the, the end there, part, but. It? Thanks, Stefan, for sending that one in. Yeah. Um, what was your favourite one in there? Let us know in the comments down below. 
Have we made you think, I'd like one of them? I did like that KTM from earlier on. That was a nice looking bike. Very nice and also, line. let us know what you think about those good, the bad, and the ugly bikes that we talked about at the start of the show. If you've got any ugly bikes to add on that list, get involved in the comments box down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN. And whilst you're there, check out the merch shop for all those great Christmas deals. See you next week. Oh, that, oh, that would have been so good. cool.